We all know Negative Flip Pro. Negative Flip Pro is an excellent software to invert your film negatives, whether it's scanned by DSLR or by flatbed or by dedicated scanner such as Plustech. Now you can either use Silverfast, which is generally given free with uh, Epson Perfection or with the Plustech. Uh, but Negative Flap Pro is more amazing when you're actually scanning your film with DSLR because now you need a dedicated software that can invert your digitally scanned negatives with DSLR. And Negative Flap Pro does an excellent job. It's been proven over and over again. Now, problem is that there are two problems. One, uh, it's not independent, which means you definitely need Lightroom. Now, if you don't have a Lightroom subscription, uh, you have a problem because you really cannot use it independently, whether even if it cost uh, 99 US dollar in year is pretty much the same, but you know, kind of lose the purpose if you don't have any Lightroom uh, subscription. You know, many of us do have like DxO or Capture One and such. And now you are kind of stuck with alternative option. Now there are many alternative options in the market and I've tried almost all of it. Problem is that most of the free or the paid one still do you need uh, Photoshop or Lightroom in order to use those options. Now, one of the option that I do recommend you and that's the gold standard of film scanning, which is again, silver first. Now, important part, I'm not talking about the silver first, the one that comes with your printer or sorry, scanner, because that silver first is independent silver first 9 or silver first AI 9 studio, etc. etc. That is a scanner and a converter. So you need your scanner. However, the silver first HDR, it is an independent software, which means you can scan whether with your dedicated scanner or uh, with your DSLR and use the software to invert it. Now that's fantastic because if you're looking at the price you have the normal version which is the 99 euro and the studio version is 249 euro. Now I'm going to talk about the HDR9 which is the normal which is the similar cost to the negative lab pro and yes it says USD but here I will pay uh, exactly the same 99 US uh, 99 euro. It doesn't really give me the benefit of having less when you convert to euro. So my point is that it costs exactly the same, but you're getting silver fast, which is an independent software. You can use it independently without uh, depending on another software in order to be able to use it. Also, you can use the software, of course, with the DNG file scanned with the original silver fast that comes with the scanner or with your DSLR or other way and then convert it using Silverfast algorithm. Now we're going to demonstrate it right now. So I have the Silverfast HDR open. Now I'm going to have to just pick one of the image. So I'm going to pick this one, for example. So as you can clearly see, you can do a batch editing, which is super fast. You can click one as it is and just keep editing. It also opens JPEG, which I don't know what's the benefit of it, but it does work that way. Now I'm gonna open one of the images that I originally showed. Now, in order to convert it, you have to change positive to negative and it's already done. Now here's the interesting part. You see the color is already fantastic, but Silverfast has the, they're well known Negafix, which is basically gives you a multiple option to add uh, film stock. Now it is a Kodak, it is, I think it is a Fuji image, Fuji C200. So I'm gonna go to the Fuji and select anything. I don't have the C200 here, but I think the similar one, uh, closest one is the NHG2. Now it's already amazing. Now, the only thing you have to do go is to see like how it looks like. What I mean uh, is the histogram looking good, especially the grass here, for example, looks too bright. You can do selective color and immediately it will give you this dropper, as you can clearly see. Drop it on the grass, it immediately on the change the color. Now, 
only thing you have to do is to change the brightness for example and it looks naturally less bright it doesn't show any kind of distortion it's just super awesome second thing you can do a dropper again for maybe in the shadow area and then add some more saturation the sky is the limit so which is amazing because i just had to change convert and do a micro adjustment and that's it it's just done super fast super easy i don't know how long it's been maybe even three minutes but again it's super fast now here it doesn't end there you have plenty of other options such as sharpness you can add or reduce grain um, you have the dropper so that you can select white point black point and the neutral point uh, if necessary in this case it's not necessary in my case the one of the most amazing part of this software is the dust reduction which is interesting because I don't have a dust reduction option in my Plustek 8100. So it does have a dust removal option. Even for those who don't have this option in your scanner. So that's pretty amazing. So it used the software algorithm in order to remove dust. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate super quickly. As you can clearly see, you have this little dust over here. A little scratch um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change from mark to correct and detection let's see what it gives me and you can clearly see it's slowly slowly leaving and if I increase my tile size it's even going more so you have to play with your slider back and forth to see exactly what is the effect. Now it's completely gone. I'm going to go back to Mark and see exactly what it's showing me. You can clearly see that you can see where it's affecting. You can fine tune it. You can fine tune it with the pen tool and you can select everywhere to make sure that only the sky is selected and everything else is being removed from the correction so that you don't have any weird distortion. My point is that for 99 euro, which is the similar price of the Negative Lab Pro, you have an independent industry standard film converter that removes dust and scratch from for your film um without any kind of infrared uh, benefits of your scanner even more you can use the same option for your black and white image now tell me if it's not amazing because uh, if you are looking at 99 euro is pretty expensive 99 us dollar is pretty expensive uh, for a software that just do the conversion but is it enough because Mm, what is better you get a independent software with a proven algorithm or one another one that needs adobe in order to be able to use it now you are the one that going to make the decision because in the end you are the one that going to invest that your money i'm just giving you the pros and cons between those two software don't get me wrong negative level pro does very well what is good at but again it's not independent and uh, the dust removal option you need to still need uh, to use Lightroom in order to use it it's not automatic um, yeah I think I explained enough between the pros and cons it sounds like that I work for Silica Silver Past unfortunately I don't they don't give me any kind of commissions I'm not getting anything out of it I just feel that for same amount of money I'm getting more from a dedicated film converter that has been in the market for a very long time. I hope this video has been very useful. If so, like and subscribe and I see you in future videos. Bye bye.